On Friday, March 28th, the town of Olds thanked the hundreds of volunteers who contribute their time to the community and an appreciation event at the Olds Regional Exhibition Grounds. The dinner was an early kickoff for National Volunteer Appreciation Week. Opening the ceremonies was Olds Town Crier Dennis Patry. Thompson, executive director of the OI. As a community, we we have to pay homage to the many men and women who contribute their time, their talent, and their effort. And then not just men and women, but the, uh, the families, the children, and, and the seniors that contribute to not only our way of life, but uh, the things we enjoy from day to day and all the time. Town of Old's Mayor Judy Dahl thanked the volunteers for their many contributions of time and effort. Our energy, and most important, our feelings. If Old's collected data about where you volunteered and how many hours you committed, we guarantee that number would be enormous. Director of Community Services, Doug Wagstaff. Community services with the town of Olds has organized with the Olds Ag Society, now the Olds Exhibition, Regional Exhibition, uh, together to help celebrate volunteerism and thank community members from across our community to do a ton of volunteering and their countless hours and the impacts it has for the growth of our community. It's just tremendous and we want to say thank you. It, it, you can't put a price tag on, the, on a volunteer. The amount of volunteerism just makes everything happen in this community. It makes our community just that much better, and without them, we wouldn't have the same type of community and standard of living that we that we enjoy in Olds. Volunteering is easy, it's fun, it's very rewarding. You make a difference. On hand was Bruce Rowe, MLA for Olds Didsbury Three Hills. It's hard to put a value on it because I think it's immeasurable. Uh, no community. Uh, I was a municipal politician myself for 11 years, so I, I know the value of volunteers and uh, many of the smaller towns and villages just could not exist without volunteers and it's uh, it's huge. We asked Mr. Rowe about what support nonprofit groups could expect from the provincial government. If you, if we call it the, the fund, the lottery fund. And <laughs> if you if you're lucky enough to get funding, uh, it's like winning a lottery almost. But a lot of them, like FCSS and Rec boards, uh, they get do get the funding trickling down. So that's great. We're very grateful for that. The evening was rounded off with a community dance. Community TV, your go-to channel for news and information in Olds, Alberta.